unicorns and glitter and taxidermy critters are just some of the things they like. They also enjoy 80s hair bands, Grizzly Adams and John Goodman, so if you think that's weird then you can take a hike. But the things they enjoy the most are making art and cracking jokes. So without further ado, here are your hosts. You've got your two artsy gals, your two artsy gals. Here are your two artsy gals. Hey, listeners. Yay, a new episode for your ear holes. Uh, This week, Lonnie and I talk about Free Art Friday because it is a fun concept um, and it's a neat thing to participate in. And we are so excited about all of our vacation plans and summer plans right now. We kind of spazzed out about that at the beginning, but we eventually tie that into the concept of Free Art Friday um, by thinking and talking about ways that we could leave art wherever we're vacationing this year. So I think you guys are going to enjoy it. We had fun talking about it. We also made a big announcement this week um, in regards to ways our listeners can support the show. As you know, this is a 100% listener supported show. And right now we're kind of struggling with that. We're not really generating any income. So we have a new way you can do that on a smaller scale. Uh, we have launched a Patreon and you can go to patreon.com slash two artsy gals and you can support us monthly for as low as a dollar or as much as you want. We have some fun category categories and some fun uh, in- incentives for your support. So you can go on over to the patreon.com slash two artsy gals site and check out how you can support us. And we'll talk about it later in the show too. Um, You can also do a one-time donation on PayPal if you want. Um, You can find buttons and links oh plenty on our website, twoartsygals.com, which will link you right to PayPal. It will also link you to Patreon. There are little buttons on the sidebar. And you can also link to our Amazon wish list for the show. And you can send us anything that you see on the wish list, and we will talk about it. And if you can't support us monetarily, we get it. I can't support all the podcasts I listen to monetarily. I wouldn't be able to make my rent if I did that. So we kind of had to prioritize. And we hope you're high, we're high on your priority list, but we get it if you can't. But we still need your support in other ways. You can rate and review us on iTunes um, because that bumps us up higher in search results and it's really important we're kind of pushing for that right now because we would like more reviews in fact we're still doing that giveaway but reviews and ratings have been coming in slow once we reach 25 uh i think we agreed on 25 yeah once we read 20 reach 25 ratings and reviews on itunes we are gonna do a drawing and one of you lucky peeps is getting a free pencil bag that with either the two arts gals logo or the making cool shit yo logo on it all you have to do is screenshot what you did and email it to us or post it on our facebook group or the facebook page um facebook group is two arts gals making cool shit yo and make sure you join it because we are doing some fun stuff over there It is a good time, and we want to just keep building this community so we can all start talking about the artsy, cool stuff that we like to do and exchanging ideas. Um, You can also support us by telling your friends and the world about us, which you can do through our other social media sites. Like I said, we're on Facebook, and you know that we're two artsy gals there. We're also on Twitter and we're on Instagram and we're on Pinterest. So make sure you share and tell people about us and teach someone how to listen to a podcast today. That'd be a good time. You know, I love podcasts. Maybe someone just hasn't been listening because they don't know how. Do that. Tell people about us. Share us on your social medias. Um, Support us how you can because we love you guys. Um, you can email us at twoartsygals at gmail.com and comment about the show, ask us questions, give us uh, some ideas or requests for episodes. We're always looking for more ideas. And if you want to call and say something awesome to us, you can do it at our message line, which is 503-395-7190. Leave us an awesome message. We'll play it on the show. Oh, and I 
keep forgetting that we have merch and you can also link to that um, from twoartsygals.com. There's a little picture of some cool Two Artsy Gals clocks. Um, but we have a Redbubble store right now and you can get t-shirts and hoodies and mugs and stickers. The stickers are really nice. We got some vinyl stickers made up for ourselves and they, yes, even have a clock that you could get and so many other things. So check it out. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the show and that you're having an awesome summer so far. Hey everybody, this is Katie. And this is Lonnie. And you're listening to Two Arts and Gals! Yay! Yay! I said that differently. You did. I said you're listening to, because I almost said you're watching. I don't know. I hope they're not watching. Because <laughs> now, well, I'm glad you can't see under the table. <laughs> it's hot, so my skirt's all up under the table. And the fan's blowing on my fat thighs. <laughs> Aww. I don't like summer. <laughs> yeah, it's a... It's a I can't it's even hot. speak. What is wrong with me? I don't it's know. been too long since I've done this. I know. I it's like, how. how long has it been? Is it I only has like it been weeks. like three weeks? Because it we seems took, like it does. We recorded it? a couple of episodes and then we took a week off for the Fourth of July. Yeah, and all the holidays. So, and I don't know. Stuff. It's going to be a weird summer. I'm already missing yeah. you ahead of time. I know. I know. Like I'm having pre withdrawal Lonnie withdrawals because we're both traveling we are so Lonnie's getting married next week and I'm super excited yeah, I am too I yeah I've been excited and then you're going on your honeymoon honeymoon and when you get back from your honeymoon I'm leaving for my weekend trip like I'm leaving I leave oh. midweek and I get back the following Monday like we won't record again until August weird it is weird yeah feels weird. We'll have to see if I can find a way to FaceTime you. Yes, we have to FaceTime (laughs) for sure. Hey, speaking of your honeymoon, did you throw the death museum out to Scott? Like, yeah. And he was like, huh, but I'll bring it up again. Yeah. Because we just keep finding all these things. Because I'm going to live vicariously through you. There's a lot to do in the Los Angeles area. That seems yeah. really fucking fun That's not to me. like regular, like, go look at all the... Are you going to go look at the stars' houses and those kind of tours and stuff? I or don't know. I don't like, know. Like, I mean, that's like super touristy shit. I, I always like Griffith doing... Park Observatory. They have Ooh, a star yeah. show. And like, and I want to do La Brea Tar Pits, maybe. I want to go those there. Those kind of things. And yeah, the Death Museum sounds cool. Um, we're going to go to Universal Studios. I want to go there. I do too. I'm excited. I'm so jealous. You better bring me a Harry Potter thing. Oh, yes. <laughs> What's your favorite? Oh, you'll have to give me some tips. I just don't even have a favorite character because I love it all so much. Or a favorite team or a like. I, well, I am a Gryffindor. A Gryffindor. Okay. I'm See, Gryffindor. I get, that's important, I think. And anything with the Deathly Hallows Deathly symbol. Deathly Hallows symbol. I have that tattooed on my finger. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Anything like that. Yeah. That's good. I love I love Harry Potter, though. Yes. So. I like Harry Potter. I should read the damn books. You've never read the books? You've I watched know, the movies, though, haven't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. Not all of them. I don't know. We started reading those books I mean, to my son when he was three. He was younger than... And that the first one had been out for a couple of years when we started reading them. But he fucking hung on every word. That's so cute. Yeah. It's a great Yeah. Series. Well, and, like, we it's... even kept reading them to him all through, like... Well, the last movie came out when he graduated from high school. Yeah. And so it was like a really, well, I cried a lot during that movie just because it was kind of like, yeah. you know, it's connected to my son's childhood. And yeah, but it's like you guys grew up with Harry Potter. We did together. as That's a family so and together. And then yeah. but he, his dad and I kind of had this thing where his dad would read some and we would read ahead. Like my husband and I would read ahead. And then his dad would be like, well, we left off here. So then I could read. To him, like, we had the strategic plan figured out so no one felt gypped on, wow, my phone is ringing. That Weird. never happens. Yeah. Who's calling me? Cell phone from Washington, D.C. I don't know anyone from there, so they can suck it. It's the president's cell phone. <sighs> I hope not. <laughs> anyway, um, so, yeah. It's like, Katie, you going He got, me? like, no. I tried, <laughs> to he- I tried to hear him today on his press conference with the French president, and the French translator was so soft spoken that I couldn't hear a goddamn word so I shut off the TV. <laughs> but plus I can't stand looking at his face. I know, it's a hard face to look at. It is. But anyway, 
So my son got old enough finally that he was like, Mom, can you talk to Dad and maybe is it okay if I just read the books by myself now? Aww. And we're like, because his dad would fall asleep while he was reading and he would just read ahead until he fell asleep too. So it was funny. But by the time he was like, he humored us for a really long time. That's cute. And then he was like later grade school. He's like, come on, Mom seriously i'm reading the, i'm reading these other books by myself that are like thousands of pages i can handle some harry potter <laughs> but we all still read them and talked about them and watched the movies together so yeah that's why i love harry potter that's so great i love that that's me too stuff. he's gonna get the deathly hallow symbol tattooed on him too so we're gonna Aww. have mom and son matching oh, so he's be like he's not gonna do it on his finger though oh i'm trying to talk him out of it he wants it behind his ear like that's on his, cool. and I'm like, yeah, but that's kind of a too visible. Well, he's a little young for job killer tattoos. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's Portland, but still. Did you see that thing on Facebook? The cute little like flowers on the back of. The I ear? would love to do that, but I have such terrible nerve damage in my ears that oh. I don't think that no. would be good. It seems so difficult for the tattoo artist. Yeah. Well, I like the ones <laughs> where you do. You ever see the where they like put a little skull? Right there on the like on there. See, I have super tiny ears, wow, so it would be yeah. really hard to like, and and my they're super wrinkly. I something right there. Yeah, I don't think I can. I wanted this this thing pierced. What is that called? Oh yeah, your little. I, your, I call it the ear nubbin. But yeah, that's, that's <laughs> ouch. Not what. what well, it. yeah, ow. But oh. my piercer was like, you don't have enough of that to pierce. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's like Aww. you have like dinky ears. Aww. I'm so glad though because I could have ended up with Bradley ears. Which are kind of the shape of my ears, but they come forward and are, like, I'll show you a picture of my brother's ears. <laughs> my brother and my dad have the Bradley ears. Aww. So. Thank you, You were going to tell me a story about, was it your brother's wedding? Is that what we were going to talk about? I think we were just going to talk about weddings in general. I don't oh. know. I was just, I'm just excited because my brother was getting married. Yeah. So, Aww. and I never thought that this brother in particular would get married. That's cute. I thought he was just going to be a He's bachelor forever. He is. And his, his fiance is super nice. And I like Yay. her a lot. So. Good. Sister approved. Oh, yeah. She's super nice. And she kind of brings him down. Like, she has a nine-year-old son. And so he kind of, and he's so cute because he kind of idolizes my brother. Aww. They ride dirt bikes together. My brother brought him, bought him a little 50, like a Honda 50. And he wants to go faster. Best stepdad ever. Yeah. He wants a bigger motorcycle, but my brother's like, you got to learn to operate a cr clutch first yes. because he yes. wants them to get comfortable with that. And so I don't know. Fun. It's funny. I'm just excited. There's so yeah. much happening. Yeah. It's a busy summer, but it's a good busy summer. Yes. Yeah. Because when I get home from my trip, we're going to have to plan. We have a recording date set, but remind me yeah, we do. that That's we right. have an interview to set up with someone. And we need to book that between us when we, when we have lunch. Okay. We'll look at our schedules. Okay. We'll be nerds at the restaurant with our yeah. phones out so we can yeah. pull up our calendars. All like business-like. Yeah. Stuff. We'll do a business lunch. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, then we have the the baby shower or the bridal shower in oh. August. And I was going to try to go to the county fair, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to fit it in because... Tillamook County. Yes, I always go to my Tillamook yeah, County. Fair. That's I cute. have like the state fair, too big, too yeah. wild, just crazy. And even like the Washington County Fair, Multnomah County. Is there a Multnomah County Fair? There must yeah, be. Yeah, it's pretty cute. It's down at Oaks Park. Oh, so it's so tiny. It's pretty small. Yeah. I don't know. They just don't feel like my hometown. I mean, like, I'm sure, like, your county fair. Clark County yeah. Fair. Is, it's pretty. Your Clark fun. County Fair is pretty big. Yeah, though, it isn't is it? pretty big. Yeah. yeah. But this one, like Tillamook County Fair is dinky, but it's always like, I love going into the big building and then you look at all of like the, I go through all the 4-H ex exhibits and stuff because I love oh, that yes. shit. I love that too. And oh the my flowers God. and yeah. the canning and the it, vegetables. Like, submit stuff to the fair. Dude, Why I totally do want to, but I don't you know if I can submit to ribbons. my um, hometown fair. Like I wouldn't want to submit to Multnomah County Fair. Oh, yeah. So I don't know oh, yeah. if I can still submit to the Tillamook County Fair. Yeah, and I'm too late. Because people it submit crochet soon. shit. Oh, yeah, I think yeah. that as well. I have sewing um, dresses and... I got a blue ribbon for making my first pencil skirt when I was in middle... No, late grade school, early middle school, late grade school for 4-H sewing. Cute, yeah. I made a lavender pencil skirt 
and maybe not it was a little wider than a pencil skirt but i remember that that's how i learned I, that's where i first learned to hand sew a hem Ooh, joanne powell was our 4-h leader <laughs> and i think so i fun. i think i submitted cooking stuff too because i did 4-h cooking also i did 4-h small animals but i didn't look my rabbit got murdered before <gasps> before it was time to murdered for the by fair what? So by a mean old lady who lived down the street what my rabbit his name was houdini because he kept no matter what Escaping. I did, he got out of his cage. I weighed down the lid with cinder blocks. Like, I don't know what he was doing to get out of the cage. It was a little teeny tiny cute black and white rabbit. Aww. Oh, no, wait. That was my brother's rabbit. Who was Mine was a bigger brown and white rabbit. But anyway, Houdini kept getting out and going and eating in this lady's garden. And she oh. came and pounded on our door and told us that she killed it and Whoa. that she was going to eat it. And I was like 10 years old and I sobbed hysterically because the mean old lady killed my rabbit. Jeez. I remember going, I hope she chokes like on him. She's like evil <laughs> Disney queen or something. She was like Cruella like, de Vil. Yeah, like, like, she was horrible. God. But then my brother's rabbit also got murdered from, by a dog. That, a dog or yeah, raccoon. That, that's what I thought at first. Like no. That's what I thought you were going to say. Oh, my God. No, my dad wouldn't let us bring them in the house. They were outdoor animals. But yeah. we had like a sheltered back porch. So that's where we kind of kept them. But but yeah. I don't know. 4-H just has good memories. Yeah. It was awesome. You know what's fun? It's nice about and wholesome. Scott I and I discovered that tough trucks at the Clark County Fair are oh. pretty freaking hilarious. Because it's people's beat up trucks and they go over the big dirt track that the monster trucks go on and so they like but they're just like regular trucks oh god it is such a sounds fucking hilarious and you get a beer and you watch this crazy shit they're launching off these they're catching air and they're crashing and oh my god that's too funny it's so funny see in tillamook it's the pig and ford races So you have these little Fords, the ones that you wind the engine oh my God. at the front with a crank, yeah. and you have to go around the track, stop, get out, you grab a pig out of the bin, like a piglet, <laughs> put it in the, you have to ride with it, you have to then crank the engine to start it again while you're holding your piglet and drive around. It's like a <laughs> relay race with piglets. That is hilarious. And it's fucking hilarious. I love that kind of stuff. And they have a demolition derby, it's... too, where all the local guys build Ooh, their demolition yeah, derby cars see, and stuff, so. that. If you can have a beer, See, and that's watch the that one kind time of, shit, of the year like, that my red and my little inner redneck kind of creeps to the yeah, surface. Yeah, it does because it's look, you can't grow up in a small rural town like that yeah. and not have a little bit of that. Anymore. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. People don't know the joy of like those kind of things. It's just funny. It's it is just, hilarious. It my just... girlfriend Autumn and I, who grew up together, <laughs> like we've known each. I've known her probably longer than I've known any of my friends because we're like Bay City kids together. And she and I were talking on the bus because we were both riding the bus down to visit and she takes her son down to visit his dad and her boyfriend was with her and he's a fairly newish boyfriend like it was the first time I'd met him and the look on his face while he was watching us tell him about the the fair and how (laughs) because she was like I'm so looking forward to bringing you to our Tillamook County Fair this year and he's like it's like any county fair isn't it and we're like um no it's special like and we have the special food booths that you have to go to you have to get a pronto pup you have to get like this special stir fry noodle thing and then like there are certain things you have to do when you're at the fair and you plan your day around them (laughs) yep and that's that and then you have your full day (laughs) And you're, it's awesome. Yeah. You watch your friends, little kids, and now grandkids dance because the local dance studio has the stage at the fair oh, and they yeah. all come out and do the little cutesy dances in their little costumes. Yep. It's good. It's shit. awesome. Yeah. It's so funny. I'm excited about the fair now. Yeah. I know. Now I'm going to miss fun. it this year because we're going to be gone. You're but... going to be gone. You can come to my, my fair with yeah. me if you want. You still have to come to the coast with me. I want to do a beach episode. That'd be fun. But we can't record live at the beach because wind. Oh, yeah. I'd be like. Mm-hmm. I'd be like somebody blowing in your ear. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> I have that thing. Also, I feels like textures. Yes. You do that to me. Also, Scott. I have this like weird ASMR reaction to. I know. Like touching this. Excuse me. Like, <laughs> just... Ooh. It's all smooth. Like yeah. smooth. That's what things that I want to put in my mouth. Well, 
I was telling Scott last night because we're gonna go to see a taping of The Price Is Right. I'm so fucking ah! excited that you're gonna be on The Price Is Right. <laughs> I know, and I was like, I've always wanted to know what the plinko chips feel like. I just I want to put them. a plinko chip in my mouth. I know. See, you get it. You I get do. it because oh, he was no, just looking it. at me oh, like, man. what? Like, are they like, smooth and awesome? Yeah, like the clay are they heavy? poker they chips? Look a little heavy. Are they because they go down the little plinko yeah, job? Yeah. Just oh my god. Know oh my god. What they feel oh my god. Like. I know. I know. If so you get to go up on stage, <laughs> I hope you get the mountain climber guy. What's that? The little yodeling oh, dude. The yeah, yodel, yeah. Yodel, 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 yodel. And then he, yeah. And you have to lick Drew Carey for me oh and say, God. that's from my friend Katie. She's oh, well, me yeah, to lick if your I get face. To, if, if you get to spin the wheel, then you get to say hi to people. So dude, like, definitely. We need to make you a 2artsygals.com t-shirt to wear. I know. See, I need, I'm going to make a shirt. Okay. Because wear it to at midnight also. Okay. Oh, well, we can't have... You at midnight, you have to have solid, but on, oh, on Price is Right, it's the only one I think we can like. You can just wear what the fuck make, ever. Yeah, and so I was, and I want to say something about being just married because that might get up just our married. Yes. Yeah. All right, you can wear just, just married, married this shirt. artsy gal. No, yeah, something. or just put two artsy gals on the back. Two artsy gals .com on the back. Just married this artsy gal. Yeah, or he yeah. could have one that says I just married this artsy gal, and then you could have one that says he just married this artsy gal. Or something like yeah. with arrows pointing at each other. And then the yes, yes. Look at me trying to make a no, plug thank you. Because I was show. last night, I was trying to think of what to put on my shirt. Because I think like it doesn't free necessarily like increase your chances, but it can. I guess it's all about how you act when the producers talk to you, because they just ask your name and your occupation and. So if you're like really enthusiastic, be enthusiastic like, and excitable. Yeah, like, and be all like, I watch this since I was a little kid. Yeah, yeah this is my childhood dream because it is always yeah, it's a childhood dream to be. I in loved the audience. summers because my great grandma. I was home from school with my great grandma, <laughs> and she we would watch Perry Mason. We would watch The Price Is Right. Oh God! And yes. then we would have lunch and watch Perry Mason. Yes, that sounds like. Yeah, my childhood. And then too. the Adams family came on, and she left the room because she couldn't stand that shit. But I love the crap out of the Adams yeah, family. Yeah, yeah. And I was always disappointed towards the end of summer when they would switch back to the Munsters because the yeah. Munsters weren't as awesome I as know, the Adams family. I agree. Family. I agree. That's so funny. So you we get kind it. of had you the same it. childhood. Yeah, my love of Price is Right. I love it. Uh, Bob Barker like, was like he was sick. so handsome. Yeah, and, too. and so funny. Oh my god, I loved six day sick days when I could watch that shit during the day. Yes. See, I would always, I would try to be sick so I could watch the Price is Right. Me too. That's a big thing for me. I can't this guy that I'm used gonna... to work at the store in the hometown, my hometown, like he was a he's a friend of the family, but he he knows all the prices. For all the things, because he worked at the goddamn grocery store oh, yeah. and he stocked shelves and he got to be in the audience, but I don't think he ever got called up because he would have been like a ringer. Yeah. He totally would have known everything. He would have won all the things. It seems like sometimes their prices are higher than what I've seen on yeah, certain things. It's so weird. I'm like, huh. That's I would be more terrible because I, I hate shopping and I don't pay attention yeah. to how much anything costs. I just throw it in my cart. I get the same shit at the grocery store every week. Yeah, yeah, me too. So sometimes. I'm just like, mm. I don't I know. know. Like a I don't buy. Table, like, when it was, was like, the last time I bought rice a roni? Yeah, I know. Yeah, like, never. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like this foosball table is like a thousand something dollars, and I was cause, and I saw it and I was like four seventy five. You I know, stop playing with that. But no, it was like over a grand. I'm like for what? what? For a I would never pay that much. For, I don't know. I think that all of that stuff should be free. I <laughs> guess. Just like Free Art Friday. Free Art Friday. What a, is this? That was a good That was good. Segue. Yeah. People are wondering, oh my God, we've been talking for 20 fucking minutes Oops. almost. Sorry, Sorry, guys. We haven't yeah. seen each other in a while. Oh, yeah. We, so we were talking about our summer plans. Yeah. But Free Art Friday kind of could tie <laughs> into our summer plans. So Free Art Friday is, hold on. I got my chapstick's getting all goofy oh, yeah. in the corners of my mouth. I'm talking a lot. <laughs> I'm talking a lot, guys. Hold Free on. Art Friday. So it's actually not a new concept, and it's it's you see it credited a lot to a UK artist um, who goes by My Dog Size. Like that's the name of his website and his studio. Size like ugh. yeah, like size. Okay, which is funny because dog size are the best thing. Yeah, they world. are. Yeah, it's my dog size all the time. Yeah, too. he does. <laughs> he like, does. He's a full of like we call him a leaky tire. Sometimes Aww. he just sounds like a leaky tire, but. 
<laughs> so the concept is like it it's kind of started and it's kind of a statement where artists that perform like that that are tired of performing for studios like because there's it's kind of a political environment in that studios want certain things they they cater to certain clientele and you kind of have to do commercial art a bit and so a lot of artists feel trapped by that and frustrated by that because in order to make money you're kind of selling your soul a little bit to the studios I wouldn't know anything about it because I have never gotten any of my art into a studio. (laughs) I do exclusively uh, when I was selling art a lot, I was doing it online through uh, Etsy or whatever. But so these artists do like little things for free and they leave it around cities. Like they just leave like little pieces of art and with some of them put little tags on them that say, enjoy this art for free. And they sign them. And it's not necessarily about promoting your art or yourself as an artist. It's just about being able, having the freedom to make something that you want to make just because you want to make it. And then making somebody's day happy because you just leave a piece of free art out for someone to find. How fucking you think about that? Like you're tootling through downtown Portland. How cool would it be to find a little piece of art that said, uh, and, and a lot of times because it's free art and people want to do, it's like what artists want to do. Some of it's like, they're pretty funny. Yeah. Or it's like a little comedy or a lot of it is like a political statement. And some of it's just a kooky, weird shit. Like this, the, uh, my dog size makes he uses like tin cans like squashed cans and makes little faces on the cans and then just leaves what looks like a crumpled up can on the sidewalk but when you look at it there's this incredible painting or sculpture attached to or on the top of the can wow. like on the circle he's made yeah. a face or something so that's really cool the first time i heard about it my friend lisa Valrath who has been a guest on the show and she mm-hmm. runs 10 to studios. Uh, she also, she runs a few art groups. I don't belong to all of them, but right when she and I first met, she was uh, really involved in a free art Friday movement. And that's the first time I'd heard about it. People yeah. like making little things. And so you can do this. There are no rules about it. That's the cool thing. Yeah. Like there's no rule about, I'm so sorry. I that's just okay. totally <laughs> kicked Lonnie under the table. Oh no. There's no, well, it's a good thing I just cut my toenails because I had to cut him because I kicked Kurt in bed and cut him with my toenail the other Whoa. night. Whoa. It wasn't that long. Hardcore. It was just like had a sharp spot oh, on it. Oh, yes. So. My binky ones get that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was my big toenail. It was all. But. <laughs> Stabby. Yes. Maybe Stabby I. toes. Maybe I should sharpen it as a weapon. Yeah. I'd be like, get on your side of the bed. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Or stop snoring. Yeah. Stop snoring. Or stop sweating on Cut my you. pillow. Oh, yeah. All of that. All stop those it. things. Just stay on your side of the bed. We need a bigger <laughs> bed is what we need. But <laughs> anyway, um, there are no rules for Free Art Friday. You make whatever the fuck you want. How many cities participate? It is a worldwide thing. Like, wow. it's a global thing. Wow. Um, people do it everywhere. And if you start searching online, like, I kind of tried to look for more information about the free art movement and the history of it. But I... A lot of the articles that you see now are attributed to My Dog Size and this larger group of UK artists that are doing this together, but they're not the first people who came up with it. And so I can't really find an article or a source stating like who owes idea leaving art out in public for people to have for free was. Yeah. So, and there are like local cities have chapters or groups of artists that do the free art Friday thing as an organized, um, kind of as an organized thing where they get together and go, okay, let's do that on this Friday and we'll leave stuff here and there or whatever. Um, but it doesn't have to be on a Friday as an individual, like this, you you, as an individual, you can just do, do it whenever or yeah. wherever you want. I've often thought that it would be fun for you and I to do stuff like that and leave our two artsy gals yeah uh web address on the back of it or something but or just to even do it it would be super fun yeah Um, i'm already thinking of ideas well so there you can do anything like i said the guy does like the tin cans and paints on them i'm thinking little blocks of wood with collages yeah or you can buy those little teeny tiny canvases and do teeny tiny paintings yeah and the teeny tiny easels and just leave them sitting around on their teeny tiny easels and stuff um 
it can literally be anything. It can be a little embroidery hoop yeah. that you've embroidered something cute on. Anything. There are no rules at all. And you know how I feel about no rules. I love that. It's my favorite thing. Yeah, I know. I love not being constrained by a rule. Yes. I mean, yeah. I make a lot of rules for myself. <laughs> so I don't need your fucking rules. Exactly. I don't need them at all. <laughs> but I thought that it would be kind of cool to talk about this within because last our last episode was about uh, vacation art kits. Yeah. Like how to pack your art supplies and bring them with you when you're on vacation and having a mini studio available to you and like how to pack for flight versus car trips and stuff like that. So I thought it'd be really cool to talk about this and come up with ideas within the concept of leaving art in the city that you're vacationing in. Oh, Like as a little thank you to the city that you're at or the country you're in or the state you're in. And you could do themed stuff and things that you could use, you could do with found objects from the town that you are living in. Or, yeah. or vacationing in. So, I mean, like, even if you take, like, matchbooks from, I don't know, do they give matchbooks out anymore? Some matchbooks from places, restaurants maybe? and yeah. hotels and stuff. Like, you can't smoke anywhere anymore. Yeah. So, I don't know. That would be weird. But, or coasters from restaurants you were at and do little paintings on them or whatever you're doing in your room and leave them around the city that you're in. Yeah. Like, because you're going to be in Los Angeles. I so, know. what what could oh you do in Los Angeles? That would be so awesome. Anything, yeah. I don't even know. You could, like, take little memorabilia and souvenir things from each place that you go. And then when you're winding down at night, you're back in your motel room, you're hanging out, mm-hmm. you had a shower, maybe a dip in the pool, <laughs> had some dinner, had some cocktails. You're just going to sit back and relax. Make and make free make art. some make a little free art, and then when you go out the next day, just leave it wherever you go. Like yeah, you know, you take stuff from the planetarium and leave it at Universal Studios, and from Universal Studios, you leave it at the Death Museum because I really want you to go to the Death Museum. I know, me too. Leave something at the pri- leave something like on the street outside of the Price is Right, like for <laughs> someone to come that. along. Yeah, yeah, like because it's probably a tourist or someone that's there visiting. Yeah, too, so. They would have a little souvenir to bring home. The thing that I that kind of bothers me about the free art only I would want it to know, like who found it. I know. Can you put your email? on I it? think that you could probably put your email address on it and say, "Let me know if you found this or yeah. whatever." But because and then they're like, "This thing fucking sucks." Then I would thanks for your trash. I would be sad. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. He sounded so mean. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for your garbage this is how i feel no i love humanity i'm just kidding they wouldn't they'd be excited they'd yeah. be like oh my gosh I like found your thing. Thank most you. people would be excited about finding free i would be giddy yeah even if it was art i didn't particularly like i would still be giddy about yeah. it yeah yeah i would think it was the coolest thing no yeah if you too. found free art that you didn't necessarily like but you were excited you would found it would you leave it for someone who might like it or would you take it? I would take it. Me I would too. like it. No matter what it yeah. was, I would like it. That's how I am, though. I'm like. Unless it was like I'm a not picky. portrait of Donald Trump or something. Oh, yeah. If it was like USA, USA, I'd be like, eh. Like that one graffiti that you found? Yeah. The I don't understand that Two at all. time World War champs. Yeah, that's so weird. That's really weird. Like patriotism and. Like toxic, it's like way. toxic yeah. patriotism. Yeah. <laughs> like ew. no, but yeah, I probably would like anything. I and I love the little the small embroidery hoop idea. Mm-hmm. That's that's cute. As that's kind of quick. Like you can do a little embroidery yeah. thing. I bought a. I got some. I'll show them to you before you leave. I found them on Amazon. A package that are like little frames. They're like silver and gold plastic frames. And you embroider and then you snap them. So they're not actual embroidery hoops, but you snap your embroidery into them. Oh, cute. And then, and I did buy some teeny tiny embroidery hoops also. Yeah. Because I made like Casey, that little bath that said bite me. And it's just a little round embroidery so hoop cute. and i made also one for elisade which i can't say what it is because i haven't given it to elisade yet okay because so here's the funny thing i made those for casey and elisade for their birthdays and i made them at the same time because casey's birthday is in october elisade's birthday is in the spring i made them 
I was almost finished with Casey's and I had like the drawing for LSA sketched on the little thing. Mm -hmm. And I cleaned my studio and I put them where I would find them in a special place. Oh no, that's... And they were lost for months. Like I, I just found them like in May. <laughs> so I gave Casey hers because I used like the, um, Casey gave me a whole bunch of glow in the dark yarn or thread yeah, embroidery yeah. floss. So I used the, like I wrote bite me in the glow in the dark stuff. So and then I cute. made the little eyes and the little fangs glow in the dark. So And the little bat was black. Cute. I love so, it so much. Yeah. But yeah, do those, like, even if you were doing, um, like, embroidery, you could just do, like, uh, the Hollywood sign or something. Or yeah. just, like, a little thing yeah. for each place that you'd been. Like a palm tree. Yeah, because it's a fun way to keep yourself busy. and Or a gravestone from the Hollywood Cemetery. Um, yeah. You know, it's kind of sad. It's Chris Cornell was just buried there. Oh, that makes me sad uh, inside. Because right. the reason Johnny she's Ramon. talking about that. Oh, next to him? Yeah. So tell them what you're doing. Going to a Johnny Ramone tribute at the Hollywood Cemetery. I'm and they're going to like show a movie and have performances. Yeah. And yeah. God, leave it said... to Hollywood. That's the only place in the world that they would like disturb the dead. Right. Like that. I think it said, and I don't know if this was last year's or if it's this year's, that Billy Idol's going to do an acoustic set. Um, How fucking weird I wanna is that? I want to do an acoustic set on <laughs> Billy Idol. <laughs> so weird. What a coincidence. Yeah. So weird. So I'm I am just like so vulgar. Looking forward to seeing what I don't know. It's Johnny Ramone's girlfriend that puts it on every year. Oh, that's so and cool. And I guess it's really fun. I don't know. There are no more Ramones left, and it makes me so yeah, sad. Yeah, sucks. They and all, I guess they're I gonna feel have. Like they died so they're gonna young. have art there and um, memorabilia from the band. Oh and my stuff god, on that's display. so cool! Yeah. You could do like a little drawing or a little know, painting a little or a little embroidery thing of that Johnny or something yeah and then leave, leave it, it there yes like I'm doing that you do that I have another thing to do before this trip but I will do it because it can be something cute and small like you have to get a bunch of those little teeny tiny embroidery hoops because you said you were going to make an embroidery bag oh yeah to take with you like an embroidery kit I do to have that with... awesome bag that um oh my gosh blanking on your friend's name Oh no, Karina. Karina. She made that. That's what yeah, I'm. I'm derp. using that bag right now. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I was that. blanking too. For, I'm like, who? Karina. Yeah, you could use that bag and yeah, take it with you because it's little, flat and it'll fit in my suitcase. Yeah, easy. and the tiny little um, embroidery hoops are super cheap. And yeah. you, that could be something that I don't know. I don't know. Can you embroider while you ride in the car? Like, would that make you car sick? We're actually flying now. Our, oh my uh, god! Thank no. God. <laughs> I am so glad you're flying. Me too. Because that like, I hate driving to destinations like that because then that takes up so much of your vacation time. Yeah. Now you guys are going to have so much more time to do do awesome shit. Yeah. And I'm assuming you're renting a car when you get there. I'm so glad. How did that decision, did Scott just decide that it would be better to fly? Yeah, I kind of, I feel like I maybe manipulated it a little, but I didn't even have to pull too many strings. And he's like... I was like, gosh, if we flew, we would have a lot more time. And he's like, yeah. Yeah. And we, he just bought the tickets. Like, that's awesome. Yeah. I was like, we're flying. Yes. Yeah. So much better. It's like a two hour well, flight. Plus, it's your honeymoon. Of a two day drive. Yeah. Yeah. It's your honeymoon. You shouldn't have to spend it in the car. Yeah. That's way too much togetherness. Yeah. That's like <laughs> not romantic. Yeah. Oh, sorry, we got way off topic. No, but, no, yeah. but we're not off topic because that's kind of oh yeah, because what you're doing. I want to leave a thing at the yeah, and because it's going to be, I guess Johnny Ramone has a mausoleum, so I wonder if I could just leave it somewhere near there. Like if you left it there, they would probably just leave it in his like they keep that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm totally get it. Now I have to think of it. Well, design. now I'm thinking like oh my, my friend. I'm going to be going to my friend Cindy's in San Juan Batista. Ooh, for so pretty there. I leave on a Wednesday and come back on a Monday, but it's a cool little artsy community. Uh-huh. So it would be kind of cool to make little things and leave them around the artsy community yeah. for people to pick up. It's a really neat little like you wouldn't think it. It's a such a cute little town. Like it's they have like chickens that just they're the town chickens. They just wander <laughs> around. There's like a rooster that stops in the middle of the road like, yeah, bitch, come at me. And you have to wait for him to cross the street. 
That's so Like, people cool. stop and wait for the chickens. Aww. And I guess it's a really near this town. I can't remember the name of the town, but it is the town that Charming was based off of for oh, okay. the motorcycle super drama. What the fuck would, was that show? You know what I'm talking about with Jax Teller. Why can't I think of the name? Motorcycle super show? The super drama show. Oh, so- <laughs> It's like the biker soap opera. God damn it. I watched it Sons all. Of Anarchy? Yeah, Sons of okay. Anarchy. It I haven't is seen it. I have not the, seen it. The town next to now I have to see where this place is. To it is the town that Charming was based off of. And there is a big biker community there, but it was yeah, it's really cool though. I think I want to leave like I'm gonna talk to my friend Cindy about maybe making some cool little art to leave around town, like free art while we're there. Yeah. Midway between L.A. and San Francisco. San Juan Batista is? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's really neat. It's a cute little town. There's an, uh, one of the historical California missions. Oh, yeah. Is there. So I think there's one near Los Angeles, too. They're beautiful. You guys should see one if you have time. But but yeah, yeah they're the really The vegetation fucking... there is really cool, isn't it? Yeah. Like, I imagine it's cool plants. And... There are cool plants. There's stuff I've never seen. Yeah, how pretty. Last time, last year when I went to visit, Cindy took me to the um, the mission there at San Juan Batista, and you can do it. We can you can wander around and do a tour. Oh like, yeah, wasn't there a creepy doll or something? Oh my god, there's such a creepy doll. <laughs> Whoa, it was so scary. And but there was this big cactus plant, and I don't know what kind of cactus they are, but I always call them slap cactus because it looks like you could slap someone across the face with a big. It's like shaped like a paddle or something. And Cindy thinks thought that was the weirdest fucking thing. She like she's like you are insane, <laughs> like that is crazy. But yeah, I could do like little cactuses, yeah, on, like little paintings on little tiny canvases. That's what I'm gonna do because we're having an artsy weekend. Awesome. So I kind of wanna I'm gonna get some tiny canvases and bring my tiny embroidery hoops, and that's what I'll work on. That because sounds great. Then I can leave stuff around, and also let's just plan like where we can leave. I can leave shit at the county fair this summer. Yeah. Like little art things. Like I do like a little little painting of a carousel or a Ferris wheel and just like leave it somewhere. Like do themed free art for the place that you're at. Yeah. If you're on the beach, paint a little beach scene or you could paint a shell. Ooh, that's Like if you pretty. found or paint yeah. a pretty rock. Yeah. And then leave it where. Or leave, some driftwood. Or yeah. Something. Leave it as like a thank you to the, to the place that you're having an awesome vacation in. Yeah. If you're like paint a shot glass, if you're like, you know, because that's what you do in or Mexico. Drink a lot. Etch on one. It would be hard to pack your etching. Yeah. Your glass etching stuff. I need to t- make my phone not distracting me. Uh-oh. That's what I'm doing. It's getting distracted. I bet we've been going on for a long time. No, we haven't. Actually, I panicked because we were almost 20 minutes at our intro, and now we're <laughs> just like just a little over 30 minutes. But there's not a lot more to say about Free Art Friday. I mean, we can... I love the idea, though. I do. I think it's so fun, and I've kind of lately... This happens every time I get involved in a swap, like a big, long, round robin. Mm-hmm. By the end of it, I feel like... I just want to fucking do art that I want to do. Like, I start feeling constrained by the swap. And I also think I start feeling like when you start a swap, it sounds like a great idea. Because you usually we start them like in January. There's nothing going on. It's kind of, you know, Mm -hmm. the holidays are over. Holidays. Holidays. (laughs) That's the redneck holiday. (laughs) The holidays are over and you're kind of bummed out and there's not a lot going on. But then they stretch out until July and then now it's so fucking busy. Yeah. Like, it's so busy. I feel so overwhelmed with how, like, if I sit down and think about how much I'm doing. I know. Me too. I feel super overwhelmed. Yeah. Like, I had to schedule in a visit with my friend Christy over the weekend because <laughs> she's on vacation this week. I'm out of town this weekend when she gets back for, I'm going home for a funeral. And then... I leave town. Oh, no. Then the following weekend, I have a, like a baby shower and the stitching bitch. And I have a <laughs> bunch of doctor's appointments that week. And then I leave town for my vacation. So we're just going to like, 
there's no other time this month that we could meet. And we were supposed to go camping for 4th of July. Yeah, yeah. But we ended up not going because my husband got kind of really relief? sick. Well, oh, I mean, kind not, of. not a sick husband at home. But. In a way. Like, we were having a fight about how long we were going to go camping, but we always go camping for the 4th of July. And I was bummed that we didn't get to go. But he was so sick, he missed two days of work midweek. And then he was he still has the cough. I think I want him to go to the doctor. I don't think you should have a cough like that for two weeks. Wow. It's yeah. like that big, barky, chesty, awful like cough. Maybe it's pneumonia. Yeah. I mean, he feels yeah. better, but it's he no, sounds I terrible. Had, I had pneumonia and it was like that. Like the cough would just not stop. Yeah. Like, well, and then that's why I've had insomnia because he kept me up for two solid weeks with ugh. this coughing all night long. Jeez Louise. And I mean, like. I could go sleep on the couch, but I have a CPAP machine. I have to unplug it and take it downstairs, and it's a big ordeal. And I don't want to make him sleep on the couch when he's sick. Yeah. So it just – now my sleep schedule is thrown off. Actually, I have slept so little in the last week, I feel kind of insane. Uh-oh. I just feel a little bit insane <laughs> right now. Like, if I start sounding crazy, it's because it's I'm sleep deprived. Oh, God. Yeah, it's bad. It's not good it for you. We can make free art about insomnia. Yeah, we could. Yeah. yeah I just can't. Like, the ideas keep, just keep pouring into my head about the free art. Because my favorite thing about going on vacations is seeing art in other cities. Mm -hmm. Like, that is part of the reason I love Mexico. And I love all of the booths in Mexico and, like, mm -hmm. all the things that people sell. But my favorite things are, like... Not, like, the mass-produced garbage shit that, like, you can just get yeah. in Mexico. But the things that clearly an artist has yeah. made. Yes. Like, that creepy eyeball thing I have above your head. Like, it's just, yeah. it's a creepy, it's creepy. Yeah. But that's photoreactive paper that, that this artist, I watched him do it. He used a little scraping tool and scraped it. Wow. That's photo paper, though. Like, so... That's amazing. It's not like a regular scratch paper. Yeah. Because that's really expensive in Mexico. Yeah. Like that kind of shit. Just making do with what they have there and making this amazing art. Yeah. Like there was another place. This was in, we were in Puerto Vallarta and they have like this whole little like kind of square where mm -hmm. there's like it's. There's a stage for performances and there are little booths and it's all shady and nice from trees. And I think it's, they do a Saturday market there. And there was also a lady there who bent spoons into jewelry. She just got these old silver stuff. spoons and forks and stuff. So she, like my son got a keychain from there and bought his girlfriend a ring or a bracelet or something like that. But in that, they had, in that whole little area, they had a lot of artists that sat and did their work while you were there and that's my favorite fucking thing yeah yeah i love it so much yeah like i said the guy that i bought that eyeball thing from did not speak that much english but we i my husband finally had to come get me because i was talking to him for so long and watching it and watching him do what he was doing and i ended up buying that one and it was just neat yeah yeah i love shit like that and me i love too. like sidewalk artists that do like portraits yeah. Like your characters. Yeah. Or anything like that. I I've just always kind of wanted one of those. I do too. <laughs> like but I'm always afraid that they make me, you know. I, I mean, know. They're not very flattering. No, they're not. <laughs> Sometimes they enhance your features that you don't want enhanced. Yeah. Yeah. But it's really cool. But I mean, just think in the concept of, okay, you're seeing all this art and experiencing this culture. It almost feels like an awesome payback to leave your free art behind yeah when you go home yeah dude like free art vacation i don't know we need to we need to we need i a, know i'm like ugh. we need a better phrase for that but it's like free art friday but better yeah it is leave your mark yeah without peeing on stuff <laughs> <laughs> well we're gonna move on to oh oh fuck i can't believe we talked this whole time we just recorded the video before this patreon yes guys we our patreon by the time this episode airs will be up and running it's patreon.com slash two artsy gals um so we have some really cool 
uh, donor rewards. And it, I'm excited about it this time. Like mm-hmm. the last time it kind of floundered and I didn't really know what kind of rewards we want to do, but I've actually gotten some feedback from other podcasters who use Patreon. So what we're doing as a reward is from the, like the one to $5 range. So that would be like a monthly donation of one to $5. We are going to put your name on on and it's whatever name you want if you don't want your name you just want like your username or whatever that's fine too i'm gonna make a donors like a a donor thank you page on our website so you will be listed as an official donor and we will of course be super grateful and thankful um for the five to ten dollar mark we're gonna start recording little mini episodes when we record from now on so you'll get like a mini sewed and it can just be i don't know what it'll be maybe we'll talk about a product we like mm-hmm. maybe we will continue a conversation that we had to cut short because we were recording like it just depends on whatever we're doing there's no guarantee what they're going to be they won't be any longer than 15 minutes it'll be like 10 to 15 minutes mini episode um i think it would be fun to kind of try to review a product or like talk yeah. about a product every week um they'll be every week that we have a podcast episode we'll do that we'll have a mini so that will it'd be exclusive content no one else gets to hear them but the donors for ten dollars and up and so that's ten dollars a month on our patreon um you just go make an account and you can become our a patron of ours um and for the $20 and um, up, we're going to do a monthly video podcast. So it'll be a shorter one, like about a 15 minute, 10 to 15 minute video episode where we'll demonstrate a technique probably is what I'm thinking. So that will be exclusively for $20 and up donors. And those are the only categories that we have right now. Um, I think last time we did this, we got really, I just got too fancy. I, I felt like we needed yeah. a lot of options and stuff, but a lot of people that do, that do podcasting have said that, that actually exclusive content is kind of where they went with their rewards mm-hmm. for patrons. So, yeah, it's going to be great. I mean, we might make another category um, eventually for higher up donors if we find that we have people that want to do that. Like maybe we'll bring back the newsletter. Um and fit that in somewhere but right now you'll see when you go watch the video that we just recorded today but we've been doing this podcast for three years Mm -hmm. and we've been doing it with no income generated for three years we do have awesome listeners who have donated to us when we you guys have come through for us when we needed things yeah but we would rather have people able to pay what they feel like they can afford and want to pay Mm -hmm. for the podcast monthly. Um, I mean, and and you don't have to by any means like, like it's a donation. It's if you want to be our patron and support the podcast. Uh, But if we're going to keep going as a weekly podcast um, and keep growing and keep doing things and keep improving, we kind of need to start at least making the podcast pay for itself. Mm-hmm. Like this comes out of our own pocket and we do it for free. So it's hard sometimes to justify keeping the podcast going yeah. at a weekly rate and doing the research because time and energy goes into mm-hmm. this. Like I spend a lot of time on the podcast yes. doing research and trying to figure out you know, come up with ideas and arrange things. And I edit the podcast and all that. So it's, it's a lot. And then it's also a lot to have to come, you know, because, because of the the kind of podcast we have, we talk about art shit. So we need art shit to talk about. Like sometimes, I mean, you know, Lonnie and I have to buy our own supplies for this. Mm -hmm. And when we're talking about things that we want to learn about it, we want to know about it and we want to teach you guys about it, but it might not be a thing that we ever do again. So we have spent money on this and then now we're not, it was for the sole purpose of the podcast. Yeah. So 
we need a way to reimburse ourselves for that. We need a way to like pay for gas money when we're going on, on trips to do interviews or to visit locations that we want to teach you guys about. Uh, so yeah, we need an operation budget. And eventually someday we would like to make a small income off the podcast. At least I'm not shooting for the stars. I don't want to get rich off this shit, but I would like to be reimbursed for my time. And Lonnie would like to be reimbursed for her time. (laughs) So, you know, but it all helps us keep this going. Like we, I want to keep doing this. Yes. I really, I love doing this podcast. It's super fun, Mm -hmm. but we need a little bit more financial support to be able to justify doing this in the long term and in the long run and to keep it going. Cause the longer you do it, the harder it is because the the more work you have to do to think of shit to talk about. Yeah. Yes. Like I panic sometimes. Like I lay awake at night sometimes thinking, what if we run out of shit to talk about? Oh my God. Yeah. (laughs) What if I don't know what to talk about? I haven't had a new idea for a podcast episode in weeks. So it's silly, but you know, (laughs) We're always going to come up with something to talk about. But yeah, I'm excited about the 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 Patreon, though. So go to patreon.com slash two artsy gals and check out the video and read a little bit more about the podcast and about what we're doing and, and what your support would make happen. Yeah. So that would be Thanks, great. guys. Thank you guys ahead of time. And you guys are the best anyway. Seriously. Seriously. Yeah. And also... If you could rate and review us on iTunes, that's kind of our big push right now because doing that makes us come up in search results higher. Yeah. So when people are searching for arts and crafts podcasts or arts podcasts, see, because we are arts, we're in the same fucking category as like This American Life. Wow. And so we're getting buried way down there because yeah. This American Life has way more reviews, ratings and reviews than we do. So the more ratings and reviews we get... The higher up in the search yeah, results. and I don't think you even have to write anything. You can no, just you do don't. the stars. You don't have to. If you don't want to write anything, you don't have to. And it still helps. Yeah. Or you could just say, like, these guys are great. Or you yeah. could say, I'm just doing what I was told to do. Or you could just say, yeah. fuck off. I don't know. <laughs> say <laughs> yeah. whatever. It doesn't matter what you say. Yeah. Just give us some stars. And, yeah. And so that people can find us easier. Yeah. So we get more awesome listeners like you. Yes. All right. Next week, we are going to talk about... What are we talking about next week? What did I tell you we were talking about? I know what we're talking about. It's on my list. It was a thing. Oh. Oh. Shadow boxes. Ooh. Yeah. So until then, go make some cool shit, yo. Do it now. Good morning, Katie. This is your friend. I'm recording on the new test cam. I'm trying to figure out what the buttons do. But every once in a while, I take a break to poo.